My name is Dr. Mackenzie Cervenka, and I am an adult neurologist at the Johns Hopkins Hospital. I specialize in the treatment of patients with seizures and epilepsy, and I am director of the Johns Hopkins Adult Epilepsy Monitoring Unit. The purpose of the series of videos that you are about to watch is to orient you to our adult and pediatric epilepsy monitoring units and to prepare you for your hospital stay here and to let you know what to expect while you are here. The Adult Epilepsy Monitoring Unit is located on the 12th floor east wing of the Johns Hopkins Hospital in the Zayed Tower. The Pediatric Epilepsy Monitoring Unit is located on the 10th floor of the Charlotte R. Bloomberg Tower in the Johns Hopkins Children's Center. We have six beds in the Adult Epilepsy Monitoring Unit and four beds in the Pediatric Epilepsy Monitoring Unit. We have sleeper sofas in each room. Parents or guardians of pediatric patients need to stay with their children, including overnight, while the patient is in the Epilepsy Monitoring Unit. And these are all private rooms. The purpose of the Epilepsy Monitoring Unit is to try and identify seizures or other episodes that look like seizures and be able to characterize them and figure out what the appropriate treatments are. Each of the epilepsy monitoring rooms are monitored 24 hours by a trained nurse and EMU technologist who review the records and can identify seizures on electroencephalography, also called EEG, and by the clinical changes that occur, which they can see on two videos of the patient as they stay in the hospital. In some cases, Patients are admitted to the epilepsy monitoring unit because they are candidates for epilepsy surgery. Typically, we already know that those patients have seizures, but we're trying to get a better sense of where those seizures are coming from. I'm Dr. Sarah Kelly. I'm a child neurologist specializing in epilepsy, and I am the director of the Pediatric Epilepsy Monitoring Unit. In the epilepsy monitoring units, you will find a number of providers who are trained in the care of patients with seizures. We have physicians, the attending physician, and the epilepsy fellow who look at the EEG on a regular basis and make treatment decisions when the patient is in the monitoring unit. We also have the resident team who cares for the patients on a daily basis, and the nurses and technicians who are trained in the recognition and response to seizures. During an episode, there are video and audio recordings, so we also ask patient visitors to describe out loud what is going on during these seizures because we can then look back and correlate the activity that we see and the description we're being given with the EEG findings. That happens typically every morning during morning rounds. First, the EMU technologist and the epilepsy fellow will look at the EEG and mark the recording based on what has been described during these episodes. And then the epilepsy attending physician will come in and review all of those recordings with the fellow. Finally, they go on rounds together with the entire Epilepsy Monitoring Unit team. These teams are typically composed of the Epilepsy Fellow, the Attending Physician, the Nurses on the Unit, Residents, Nurse Coordinator, and also at times the Neurosurgeon who could be taking care of the patient as well. Typically, patients are referred to the Epilepsy Monitoring Unit by their physician. Often, their neurologist or their epilepsy specialist will refer them for evaluation and they refer them for a number of reasons. The most common one is to determine what type of episodes a patient is having. Next, to determine is there a surgical option for treatment. Finally, to make medication changes in a safe and controlled environment. After a patient is evaluated in the epilepsy monitoring units, the information we gather during the stay and information that we have from their prior evaluation is taken to our weekly epilepsy conference. This conference takes place on Tuesday mornings and all of the epilepsy specialists are there, as well as a number of colleagues from various specialties. We are very fortunate to have wonderful neuropsychologists who we work with both here at Johns Hopkins and also at Kennedy Krieger Institute. And they come to our conference along with the neurosurgeons as well as nursing personnel and technicians. We all work together to come up with the best recommendation for the patient. When a patient is discharged from the epilepsy monitoring unit, we ask them to call their attending physician to make a follow-up appointment. 
This appointment is generally a number of weeks out so that we have a chance to see if the treatment changes that were made are effective for the patient. And also, so we have time to look at all of the data we discuss in our epilepsy conference and think about the best recommendations for the patients.